The 3D Sculptor Roll, combined with SOLIDWORKS Desktop, provides the perfect blend of tried and true parametric solid modeling, along with the ultra-flexible world of subdivision, or sub-D modeling. Not only do both applications readily handle their very different design responsibilities, but they work together using a simple handshake and the 3D Experience platform. Now, I've been using SOLIDWORKS Desktop for over two decades, so of course it's my go-to application for everything. Why change what works? But experience has also taught me that when there's a better tool for the job, I'd be foolish not to use it. That's when I can throw my SOLIDWORKS data over the wall and continue the design and X shape. And it all starts with the SOLIDWORKS connector. We'll start in SOLIDWORKS, where I have a custom design for a 3D printed hobby rocket. Once installed, we'll need to enable the add-in. We save the data using the SOLIDWORKS connector and thus pushing them directly to the platform. Here we see our first indication of the CAD master, showing these files were designed in SOLIDWORKS. The bookmark feature in the 3D Experience platform is a great way to organize your data and find it easily. I rely on it heavily. Now we can switch over to the platform and continue our design. Here we'll start a new file in XShape and we'll bring in the SOLIDWORKS native data for reference. And using the bookmark editor makes this data easy to find. You can see here that we're sticking with the concept of the CAD master, where this data originated in SOLIDWORKS. XShape has tools designed specifically for taking on challenging geometry that you certainly can pull off in SOLIDWORKS, but with far more work and extensive feature tree. As you make changes in XShape, the surfaces remain class A, so editing is simple and easy, and actually kind of fun. We use a lot of multi-selects on faces, nodes, and edges, and some push and pull using triads. In a slightly different approach than you may be used to, we'll multiple select features and turn them into a component. Once I'm satisfied with the industrial design in X-Shape, I'd like to switch back to SOLIDWORKS and finish the mechanical details. To honor the CAD master, where only the original authoring tool can edit and save a file, we need to establish SOLIDWORKS as the CAD master in order to continue right along. For this, we have a simple step that utilizes 3D interconnect-like functions to maintain the link, and if we need to make any future changes to the original organic body, we'll do that in X-Shape. Now I can continue adding traditional SOLIDWORKS features to complete my concept. Now for the sake of this example, we're going to be doing something pretty simple. Here we're just going to add some holes to the parachute, but we'll use dimensions to reference these edges. That way if a design change happens in X shape, you'll see the features update appropriately in SOLIDWORKS, just as you'd expect. And to show the full process, we'll hop back over to X-Shape and make some pretty drastic changes. We'll rebuild and save our data, and then toggle back over to SOLIDWORKS, where it recognizes the change from the platform. A simple right-click, and the geometry is updated. Awesome. As you can see, 3D Sculptor and X-Shape is a fantastic complement for SOLIDWORKS Desktop by providing that highly desirable sub-D modeling environment that industrial designers love with the tried and true mechanical design capabilities of our flagship application. Visit our website to learn more about the possibilities unlocked by using the 3D Experience platform and SOLIDWORKS Desktop together.